Hi, YouTubers. Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. I work with uh, batteries, aluminum air batteries. Here's one I just made. It's about 1.20 volts. And uh, for bench scale work, I really am focusing on the electrolyte used. Now, if you use sodium hydroxide with the aluminum air battery, you're going to get a high potential, but you're going to really corrode that aluminum pretty quick. And if you use seawater, you're going to get a potential of about 0 0.8 volts. So what I have here is aluminum chloride hexahydrate. Now, please don't put anhydrous aluminum chloride into water. It will evolve HCl. I'm um, using the hexachloride. It's very soluble in water, but I have it, actually have it dissolved about 35% by mass in a gel because I don't want the electrolyte to evaporate, but you've got to have good ion mobility or you're going to get poor current. So I prepare my gels for study, and they are derived from starch, water-soluble starch, and I react it with chloroacetic acid, and I make the carb carboxymethyl starch derivative. It takes about 24 hours. You get a viscous liquid, very soluble in water. And I mix it with chitosan, derived from chitin insect exoskeleton. And I shake that overnight, one-to-one -one mass, and I get a viscous liquid. If there's any particles left of chitosan, you sieve them out. And then I charge it with the aluminum chloride, readily soluble. And then I add glutaraldehyde, dialdehyde, glutaric dialdehyde, which we call glutaraldehyde, 25% by mass. For 35, 50 milliliters of the gel, I drop in about a milliliter of this cross-linking agent. It reacts with the amine groups on chitosan, cross-links, to give good mechanical stability. I microwave it, 15 second jolts, and after about three uh, intervals, it'll be a gel, or it will form a gel at 20 degrees within a half an hour or so. This is a little bit fluid, this gel, intentionally. If I add more cross-linking agent, I'll get it more viscous. And uh, here, 1.21 volts. That's pretty good. It shouldn't evaporate too quickly. A lot of these batteries look great for the first two hours, and then you come back uh, the next day and they're uh, the potential shot. We don't want the electrolyte to evaporate. Now, what I do is I get these junk power banks for lithium, charging lithium, 3.7 uh, lithium-ion batteries. I get these junk power uh, power banks off of eBay from China. I take the parts out of it and I use them for other applications. And uh, I pick these up pretty cheap and it turns out to be a good housing for bench scale work. So I have the uh, multimeter hooked up to the one electrode and I have a sheet of uh, baking aluminum in there. And uh, hey, look at that, 1.24 volts. It's going up. That's a good sign. Um, I have uh, a bed of the aluminum in there. You can see the baking foil aluminum that I use. So I've got that flattened out in contact with the uh, electrode. And over that I have medical gauze. That gauze pad is really nice. I lather it with the gel and then a bed of activated carbon ground up with manganese dioxide. You can scrape that, of course, out of a dry cell ba battery, the manganese dioxide, activated carbon, and I grind it up in a mortar pestle, layer a bed of that on the more of the gel underneath it. So the gel is on uh, one side of the gauze and on the other. And then a piece of lead pencil, which of course is graphite, and it fits in this case really nicely, see? And uh, that's what I like. I get a good contact, and that will make a big difference because of that graphite being able to uh, conduct electricity. And then it's open to the air. I can pop the top on. I might drill some holes to let some air in. And uh, I'm hoping that this electrolyte, which is a polyelectrolyte with the amino groups and the carboxylic acid groups, so over a range of pH, it's going to be a polyelectrolyte, which is good for conducting charge. And at the same time, with the case on there, Hopefully it won't evaporate too quickly. And uh, we're jumping around a little bit, 1.22 volts. Let's see what kind of short circuit we get. That's, of course, your open, uh, open voltage. 
and I'm getting about 16 oh that's pretty good boy that's going up that's good if we can get 20 milliamps out of it look at that okay well it gives you an idea of the research I'm doing and I'll give you information on where to put these things together if you want to put this uh, type of cell together for bench top work when I pop the top on and then I can hook them up in series and boost the potential up to get myself three to five volts but as I said my main concern is, uh, my main focus here is uh, electrolyte gels I'm a chemistry professor with a university in western Pennsylvania hey that that current is okay that's that's good let's go back to the voltage let's get the open voltage it'll rebound there it goes very nice going up quick I like it and we'll park company right now as soon as we hit one volt thanks for watching guys any email uh, questions send me an email and uh, I enjoy posting these to YouTube and getting input take care